The Stolen Chalice includes one of the most romantic places in the world, the historic city of Edinburgh, Scotland. If there ever was a city to conjure up mystery and adventure, Edinburgh is perfect. From every vantage point, the 12th century ramparts of the historic castle are visible. The old town is magnificent, from the Victorian splendor of the Balmoral Hotel with its majestic clock tower to the wonderful stone architecture. There are slate roofs, towers and turrets, and the eerie atmosphere of a haunted old graveyard called Greyfriars. There is no mistaking you are in Scotland. The sound of bagpipes fills the air. The flag flies high along with the British Union Jack. But the real reason why I wanted to include Edinburgh in the Stolen Chalice is not above ground, but under it. For many centuries, the residents of Edinburgh didn't realize that right beneath their feet, under the main avenue of the Royal Mile, are the streets and neighborhoods from 400 years ago. I went to Edinburgh to explore these old passages. Deep underground, I walked up the steep, narrow lane known as Mary King's Close, which was one of Edinburgh's busiest streets in the 1600s. These houses were abandoned and entirely forgotten as the city built right over the top of them. As described in the Stolen Chalice, the street is flanked on each side by the original tenement houses, seven stories high, and looks pretty much the way it did in 1644 when plague struck its inhabitants. As I walk through the labyrinth of houses, it is dark and silent, and whether you believe in ghosts or not, it is very eerie. In the ancient dwellings, fireplaces, and even old wallpaper is still faintly visible. You can easily imagine the families who once lived here. Some people see even more. Visitors often report seeing apparitions, and some psychics claim they are overwhelmed by paranormal activity. There are reports of a ghost a little girl known by the name of Annie, who died in this room, abandoned by her family during the bubonic plague. People who come here leave toys and trinkets to comfort her. In the stolen chalice, the character Paul Oakley is engaged in urban archeology, span digging through the remnants of the city to find out how people lived and died during the plague years. In real life, modern archeologists are doing the same Edinburgh is rediscovering its past, both below and above ground, and the readers of The Stolen Chalice will be able to go along and explore with them.